Hello everyone, welcome back to my studio. I'm Sophie Kachmanian. We're working on skirts. Today I'm going to demonstrate the circle skirt for you. So the circle skirt looks like this. Actually the fabric is cut in a full circle. That's what we're going to do. Our full circle skirt is going to have two seams on the sides. As you noticed, the circle skirt doesn't have any gathers at the waistline, just it has flare big huge hem sweep at the bottom well when we say first full circle actually the circle is going to be cut like this we need to understand the components of this circle for instance the radius radius is the length of the measurement that starts from the center of the circle to the edge of it and also we have the diameter of the circle now when you look at this other circle you can see that, for instance, the radius is drafted into a circle right at this point. Consider this as being your waistline. If I go a little bit further and cut my radius a little bit longer, as you can see, my waistline is going to open further. Or opposite, if I go inside, my waistline is going to be smaller. So it depends from the radius length how big the waistline is going to be. And we need to come up with the correct measurement of the radius that is going to give us the correct waistline seam. And then we're going to pull back half an inch so we can afford to have a seam allowance. The same way, let's say if this is the full length of my skirt, I need to go half an inch longer so I can have hem allowance. Unlike the straight cut pieces, the circle requires this type of meticulous measurement and calculations. For instance, this section of the book here um, explains how to come up with a formula so we can cut the waistline measurement just as much as we need to. Because if we cut the radius a little bit bigger, then the waistline is going to be too big. Again, if you cut it smaller, then the waistline is going to be too small. So that's why we have to use this chart to take that correct measurement from it. If you have read this part of the book, it tells you meticulously how to come up with that measurement and how, to be use, how do we use this chart. Now for, for size 8, I'm going to give you the ready measurement of the radius. So what we need to do for 26 inches waistline, According to the formula calculations, we have to take number 27 under the first column and walk through this line until the column number 5, where it gives us 4 and 3 eighths, that measurement. By the way, if you didn't want to do a full circle, but you wanted to do 3 quarter circle, which is smaller circle skirt, then that number is going to be 5 and 3 quarter. If you wanted to have half a circle, again, you have a number four. And if you want to do a quarter circle, again, there is a number here. So we're going to use four and three eighths as our radius. Okay, in order for me to prepare for my skirt, I took two pieces of dotted paper. I fold them evenly on, my, on one of those lines in the paper. And I fold another piece, one for front and one for back. The fold is going to be kept right in front of me and I'm going to put the folds precisely on each other like this and staple them so they don't move. By the way, this way of drafting is presented to you so you can do it quickly without any difficulties and without any problems. Okay, um, our, after preparing the paper, now we need to do one more little preparation here. Cut piece of straight strip of manila paper here um, and make a compass out of it because we're going to be drafting a circle line. So then what I will suggest you to do, take that paper and at the beginning of the paper, a little bit away from the edge, put a dot. This is going to represent 
the center of my circle, okay? The beginning. It's difficult to understand right now, but just follow me. It will come to you. Then from this point, I'm going to measure four and three eighths. That's my radius. Okay, four and three eighths. That's my radius. Now, if this radius is going to give me my waistline, then I need a seam allowance. Therefore, I'm gonna go back half an inch from that point. This is going to be my final waistline that is going to be actually also including my seam allowance in it. So I went, this was my four and three eighths number, and then minus half an inch from that, that will be three and seven eighths. So this will be my final circle radius for the waistline that will include my seam allowance. And then from four and three eighths, you want to measure the length of your skirt, depending how long you want your skirt to be. Let's say if I want my circle to be 17 inches long, I'm going to place here another dot 17 inches and I'm going to also add my hem allowance because if I draft this end of the radius as the hem of my skirt, then I need to cut some more, a uh, little bit further uh, away, half an inch. So let's say my hem is going to be half an inch away from my hem line. This is my hem line. And this half an inch away will be my hem allowance. Okay, you take your um, pole puncher, your awl, and you can punch the middle of the circle and three seven eighths point. And you can punch both of these if you wanted to. Actually, you could draft four and three uh, eighths point also if you wanted to. So once you have your little compass and your papers folded like this. Uh, you're almost ready to draft your circles, but what am I going to suggest? Also, I would like you to draft a straight line right on the right side of your paper that comes and connects to the folded edge, like that. So. Cut five, yeah. four, three. Okay, so I'm going to grab the first punch hole, which is matching with my center of the surf circle, like this. I placed it right at the very edge. I hold my hole puncher straight 90 degree, and with my pencil, I am going to draft my waistline, like this. Okay, so as I said, if you wanted to draft your real waistline without a seam allowance so you knew knew where it was that's not a problem we're going to punch the paper and draft my waistline plus my seam allowance then let's go all the way down here and draft my hem and my hem allowance Okay, I need to add a little piece of paper right at the very edge, but this is what we came up with, and that's our skirt. After a little manipulation here, our skirt is pretty much done. Now, our skirt is drafted. We need to adjust the waistline a little bit. Uh, the front waistline is going to be lifted up quarter inch. The back waistline is dropped quarter inch. So my suggestion would be, on this, up piece can you see this is my let's say this is my center front that's the fold and this is the edge seam allowance side seam here I'm going to lift up the waistline for a quarter inch measure quarter inch and from the 90 degree corner here you see with my ruler I'm making little quarter inch 90 degree and then with my French curve I'm going to bring that line gradually you can even put like a um, freehand 
drafted line like that so the quarter inch is lifted up here quarter inch and then brings bring it to zero in this corner and after you put your freehand dot marks then you put your French curve against those lines and draft a smooth curve that comes to the side seam and becomes zero now we're going to cut uh, our skirt as if we are cutting this for the front both of them together so carefully cut remember when i'm cutting like this my seam allowance is already included and it is calculated for the side seam also that formula in the book gave you that chance of calculating everything together so here we're going to cut this that's our side seam let's separate the pieces from each other this will give you a, a really nice shortcut where you come up with precise pieces so this was my front first of all let me explain to you what's happening with the front and how it looks so we can understand clearly so that's my half a circle obviously we're going to place a center front notch single notch right there since this is my center front okay um, and that's my seam line right here and then this is my seam allowance line for it so now we can again understand that this circle this radius that was pre-calculated is going to give me half inch seam allowance that we're going to mark here i'm marking with a, a marker so you can see and it will come and give me half an inch seam allowance right here and right here so let me put this on the form so you can see the shape okay um here's my shape on the waistline obviously this looks kind of a little bit small because this is a paper it doesn't stretch but the fabric will be stretching and because it's cut on bias and the stretchability factor was calculated in the measurement on that chart so this is the this is the flare of the skirt that you're going to get imagine if you connect the back piece to to this the side seams are going to be sticking up like this and then you will have your circle skirt okay so the other piece that was underneath is going to be my back this is my center back okay on the back as i mentioned before we're going to be going quarter inch down which means um i left lifted up my waistline quarter inch in here which means i'm going to go quarter inch down and half an inch that way so i'm going to go measure half an inch and again drop the straight line this corner on both pieces should be 90 degree a little line now i'm grabbing that nine 90 degree half an inch point and i'm going to go gradually to zero on the side seam zero here so um with your french curve again by adjusting to catch those little points broken lines and bringing those lines to the side seam see i'm doing in small increments so i can come up with uh, as smooth of a line as possible like this and bring it to the side seam to zero like that okay so this half an inch little piece is going to be eliminated and if you need to staple it so they don't shift you can do it okay so the half an inch is removed if i want to double check myself to see if i have done it correctly i am going to place my front on top and if i even up the hems because they're even like this you can see that everything else is matching besides this center back and center front points 
the back is half an inch lower and front is half an inch higher. Okay, in order for me to differentiate between those two pieces, my center back is going to be notched quarter inch away from the fold. So when you notch them together, you will be coming up with two notches symbolizing the back and they are half an inch apart. So if I marked a notch right there for my front, then I'm marking a notch for the back right there. And if this is my front and that is my back, all the notches that I marked on the front should be getting their, their pairs. Okay, so when I stitch, I know exactly how they connect with each other. And same thing will go with this side. And like that. Here on the left seam, left side seam, I am going to go about seven inches down. Okay, so about here, I'm going to put my zipper notch. Let's say on this side, I can put my notch somewhere below that point so we can see that this was a zipper and this is just a notch that is going to help us to put them together. Now I would like us now to decide where the grain line is going to be. Like imagine is the, the edge of the table is my salvage. This is the true grain of the fabric. Now uh, let's say if I want to cut on this direction and I want to put my grain line right here where the fabric doesn't stretch, which is desirable because on the side seam where we stitch the zipper and everything, we don't want the fabric to stretch. Therefore, we're going to put our grain line right here. Which means that it's going to continue to the, to the other side also, like this. Okay, so our grain is here. Can I put my grain line here? Yes, I can. In that case, I'm going to be cutting the fabric like that because we always say that when we cut the fabric, the grain line that is marked on the pattern has to be sitting parallel to the salvage all the time. So if this is my salvage and I put my grain line here, I have to shift the pattern this direction and cut this way. Let's say you can ask, so what's the difference between me cutting the grain line one way versus the other way. We have to understand that when we shift the fabric, the fabric starts acting in a different way. So if I cut the paper this direction, as I said, this seam is not going to stretch. The cross grain of the fabric, therefore, is going to stretch a little bit, and we're going to have a lot of stretching happening on the 45 degree directions. So if we cut this direction, the front of the skirt is going to go straight and then the flares are going to happen on the sides. See if, if how much sense it makes for you. But I'm telling you that each one, each time you shift the fabric, your performance of the skirt is going to change. One thing that is very important for us to understand, uh, when we cut circle cuts, either skirts, peplums, flounces, or whatever we cut, we understand that the fabric grows, meaning on a bias direction, 45 degree, that fabric is going to grow a lot. When the skirt is um, on, uh, on a person, sitting on a person, what's gonna happen is, if my grain line is here, that side of the fabric is not going to grow, meaning it's not going to elongate. Um, this is 45 degree, this part of the fabric is going to go curvy like that, especially when we have very thin fabric, very drapeable, such as chiffons and fabrics from uh, rayon um, and satin fabrics, of course. Here, the cross grain is going to grow just a bit. And here again is bias. This is going to grow a lot. And straight grain is not going to grow a lot um, at all. So what's going to happen when we cut circles, what we need to do is, in production, they will cut the circle out of the correct fabric, and they're going to either pin on the form or put on a clip hangers, leave it there for 24 or 48 hours, 
until that growing and elongating the fabric will happen. So when you come back in 24 hours or 48 hours, you will find your hemline being wavy like this. So that's the length, long, short, long, short. So what they do with this, they will be fixing it uh, because if you don't, that's going to be a disaster uh, at the end of the production because the ready garments are going to elongate and they, they would have like very crooked hemlines. So after growing the fabric, you're going to come back and measure, bring the dress form down to the floor, closer to the floor and measure from the floor to the edge of the hemline and then keep on measuring and marking, keep on measuring and marking, shift the form a little bit, keep on measuring and marking. And then when you do that, you will come up with the correct hemline that is going to mark on that distorted fabric. So when you cut off those pieces and put this circle flat on the table, it's not gonna look really as a circle, but once you hang the fabric, it's gonna hit the correct point that you want to. So be always careful when you're cutting circles. It is very easy to cut, but it has its own thing that we have to respect. Let's finalize our pattern. We already uh, talked about our notches, now our grain lines, and we need to write down, this is my circle skirt, and it's size eight, and this is cut one, because front is not the same like the back. On the back also, you're going to put your grain lines on the same direction as the front, and again, write down your information here also. Actually, this is my front circle. And this is my back circle. And we have, um, this is size eight, and we're going to cut one. The waistband is necessary uh, to have with this if you're not using this as a skirt for your dress. For the waistband drafting, refer to my A-line skirt on YouTube uh, video page, um, and then you will um, draft the correct waistband that will go with it. One last piece of information before I finish. Let's say if you cut this skirt for a dress and the opening of the dress is at the back, that means the back is going to be cut two pieces. The front is going to be cut one piece. You need to create extra seam allowances for the center back, which means your back radius is going to be cut slightly lower. Let's say if you cut it about a quarter inch lower, or like maybe 316 inch lower, the waistline will get bigger and you would be able to use half an inch seam allowance at the back for your zipper application. So this will conclude my demonstration for you. I'm Sophie Kachmanian, and I had a great pleasure of showing you how to cut the circle skirt. Please visit again, and don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share my videos, and stay tuned for my other videos, other presentations, um, and see you next time. Bye.